My name's Sean Barker, I'm a marine scientist. And I research grey nurse sharks. And tell me about the plight of the grey nurse shark on this coast. So um, the grey nurse shark uh, listed, currently listed as critically endangered along the east coast of Australia, um, mainly because of impacts of um, fishing activities and shark netting for beach protection. The appearance of the grey nurse shark is the reason that they were pretty much hunted to the point of extinction. Um, you know, a common misconception with the grey nurse shark is that they are fierce and aggressive man-eaters because of the way that jaw is set. Um, we now know that those teeth are more like forks, so this species of shark is only capable of eating a fish that it can swallow whole. So yeah, we're not on the menu. Grey nurse sharks are not the sharks that are the concern. No, the nets are put in for um, the more uh, dangerous sharks such as a great, great white shark and bull sharks. Yet the grey nurse sharks are taking the brunt of the punishment? Yes, that's correct, but um, we don't have a lot of data on how many sharks are caught in those nets. Why? Um, it's relatively hard to get from the government. They, they have put a port, report out in 2009, but that, um, there's, no been, there's not been any subsequent reporting of the number of um, caught sharks since then. Fisheries put out their review report in 2009, New South Wales Fisheries, and it stated that the rate of shark bite was the same from before and after the nets went in. So there's been absolutely no change. Uh, and this is actually taking into account people's increased usage of the water. Um, so yeah, they're completely not effective. And we'd hope that the, the policy makers would actually listen to the scientists and base their decisions around that. But there's a there's a lot um, there's a lot of political lobbying that has to take place before uh, politicians will actually listen to scientists. If an animal is critically endangered, why would the government? Let me rephrase that. Is the government unaware of the low numbers of the species? No, the government's very aware of it. Um, we have a, a problem in this country where our government is um, the, the right people for the job are not necessarily given it. Um, in fact, you know, in West Australia, the, it's no secret that the cull has caused, uh, the, the shark cull has caused a lot of problems. And um, the funny thing is that comes from ignoring the science. Uh, the irony being that Colin Barnett uh, is actually the minister for science. What about financially? Any reason that they might want to keep this net program going? Um, not sure because financially there is no real benefit. Um, the maintenance of these nets is quite expensive. You do have um, contractors checking these nets uh, ideally every 72 hours, which is what we want to find out as well, if it's actually every 72 hours. And they get pay pretty well for that job. Um, to maintain the net itself is, is quite a big bill every year. Australia is uh, known for their whales as well mm -hmm. and I notice you can go humpback whale watching right here. Uh, yeah. Right by where sharks are being killed. Exactly. Um, it, there's a lot of fishing uh, that goes on around Sydney very quietly. Um, so you not only have um, the nets that are in place that are killing a lot of creatures here as well, uh, but there's actually a shark finning industry uh, that goes on in Australia and out of Sydney. Um, there's uh, a lot of um, long lining going on, uh, especially for tuna, which has uh, also been shown to be very harmful, uh, killing dozens and dozens of large bycatch every week, uh, as well as some. Um, yeah, so as you said, on one hand, the people are sitting here uh, marvelling at the whales jumping past and paying a nice price to do that, uh, while just behind their back, uh, many thousands of other beautiful creatures are being slaughtered uh, for no particular reason uh, other than for the government to tell them that it's safe to swim here, so they come for a holiday. So the more we know, such as understanding what the tooth is meant for, it's another reason for us to remove some of that fear. Absolutely, you know, education is the key here. So, you know, the more that we can talk about it and get, you know, accurate information out there, um, the easier I think we, it will be for us to change, you know, a, a, a misconception. Great.